welcome to my little tutorial it's uh, just a simple debounce uh, the simplest way that I could do it um, I'm in no way a programmer um, but when I've tried to debounce a switch and follow some of these tutorials I find them a little confusing so basically what I've got in front of you is just a simple setup with a a uh, push button and an LED and basically I've written a quick program just an ordinary debounce an uh, ordinary button uh, sketch and it's bouncing and then we'll load up my sketch check it out and then I'll run through the code with you um, basically this button you know sometimes it will stay on and it's obviously not doing what we want it to do if I just upload my sketch and now works fine let's run through the code quickly sorry about my camera work hopefully you can see that alright right basically we start with the button integer button equals 8 buttons on pin 8 integer LED equals 2 the LED is on pin 2 and then we've got two variables we've got val and val2 now we use this to read the button twice and I've put this little timer in between the two to show that this actually happens between the two readings so we read VAL1 and then we wait for 10 milliseconds and read the switch again and then we get VAL2 you'll see that further down as we get into the sketch um, now we've got an integer which is the button state which holds the state of the button and we've got light mode equals zero which means that the LED starts off uh, void setup we've got LED as an output pin mode uh, for the uh, button is an input obviously I know you don't need to put that in but I'll put it in anyway like this bit I found to be the bit that I was falling over on but button state equals digital read button I was putting this in the loop and for some reason it wasn't working so we read it in setup and that way we've got some a starting point because it's only read once and then serial.begin um, before we go any further um, my LED uh, my switch is a pull up switch uh, is it? Hang on. it's a pull down switch sorry <laughs> I do apologise um, right so we go into the loop now we read val so we read the button and then we delay for 10 milliseconds which we set timer in the uh, beginning of the sketch and then we read the button again with VAL2 yeah. and that actually debounces the switch because it reads it, waits, reads it again um, we serial print here just to check if the button's working if you've got a problem with the sketch and this bit doesn't change when you press the button then you've got a problem so we've got serial print val equals and then we've got serial print val so we print and then we've got print line so it should all appear together so if we just put the serial monitor up you should be able to see that val equals one and when I press the button val equals zero we'll get rid of that for the moment so we know the switch is working fine so if something else your LED is not lighting up you've done something else wrong uh, right then we've got a nested if statement so we say if val is is equal obviously the two equal sign is equal to val2 yes yeah, so we read the button compare the readings if val is not equal to the button state then obviously something's changed and the button's been pressed 
So if val is equal to low, the button's been pressed. So we say if light mode is equal to zero, the light is off, turn the light on. Light mode is equal to one. Then we digital right the LED high. Then else, light mode equals zero. So what we're saying here is, we read this, if light mode equals zero, turn the light on. But if the light's already on and the button's pressed, the light mode then equals zero and we write the button off. And then we come back down to the bottom here and we say button state equals val. So we read the button state again and store it in val. Okay, hopefully that, uh, you know, maybe sorts it out for you. I uh, had a lot of trouble writing one of my own and getting other people's to work and hopefully this simplifies it a bit. And you don't have the same problems I did. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like it, comment. I'll post the code for you. Thank you.